Right guys, so what you're looking at here is a five inch grinder, charger and a battery from a company called CAT. I'm sure you've all heard of CAT or Caterpillar. Uh, company synonymous with, you know, heavy construction work. You know, diggers, bulldozers, that type of thing. Yeah, I didn't even know Caterpillar done power tools. You know, they do have a, a full range of, you know, power tools. So fortunately for me, uh, the company actually reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review of their 5-inch grinder. I was genuinely interested in this one uh, because because of the name, you know, CAT, heavy construction work. And that's kind of what I do as well, you know, I'm in that sort of in the same fencing business. So I would be keen to, to actually try this grinder out and give an honest, you know, opinion on it, uh, good and bad. Uh, anybody that knows me, you know, or watches my videos, you'll know that my, most of my tools are, are DeWalt tools. So I am genuinely interested how this grinder is going to compare to my current 18 volt grinder, which is... The okay, so that's everything unboxed. Charger, grinder and 4 amp hour battery. Uh, the first thing I'm going to look at is the, the battery. Now here's a DeWalt 4 amp hour battery, just for size comparison. One of the things I like is the, the marking on it, the DX4. You can see from a distance that that's a 4 amp, amp hour battery. Um, the DeWalt batteries, however, you know, it's fairly small uh, writing. I mean, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it is. It's, it, it's good to see the visual cue. You know, you've got a, a DX4. It's obviously got the, you know, the battery indicator there. Five lights, whereas the DeWalt's got three. So that could be a good point. You know, you can see exactly how far your battery's going down. You know, you've got more, more range there. So you've got the five. Okay, onto the charger. It's pretty standard, to be honest. There's the cat charger. There's a DeWalt charger, so they're pretty similar. Right, so onto the actual grinder here. So I need to point out that I haven't actually used this in a job or anything like that. Um, this is just purely my first impressions of this grinder. So one of the first things I noticed is a three years warranty with this tool. And I'm assuming there are other tools as well. So that's a, a great point. I noticed the, the grinder was marketed as 115 millimeters. Um, that was a downside to me. But after a little bit of research, uh, I did find out that this does fit 125 mil discs. So 115 being roughly four and a half inch, uh, 125 is a five inch, which I use. Uh, the reason being, five inch discs are more, you know, readily available because they are. That's pretty much what's used in professional industries, you know. So I'm not sure why the market this is 115. To me, I think they'd be better marketing it as a 125. The first thing I'll mention is the colour scheme. I mean, that might be insignificant, but to me it looks, you know, really mean, really tough. You know, it reminds me of the DeWalt Tough System boxes, you know, the DX300 and 400s that I use. Yeah, so it just looks, looks the part, looks tough, as opposed to, you know, a bright red, bright orange, you know, type of thing. That, to me, it looks pretty mean. You know, even the casings, you know, blackened, that's one of the first things I notice. Another thing I notice straight away is the handle. This handle is obviously an anti-vibration handle. You know, you can feel the it's like a soft grip rubber, anti-vibration, but it does hold a, a neat secret. You know, in the end, you have the grinder spanner storage. You notice that there's the spanner for changing discs, you know, if they get stuck stores away neatly. I mean, that's huge for me. Uh, on the DeWalt, there's no, you know, there's nowhere on the grinder to store, store the key. So you know what it's like, you're out, can't get a disc off, and then you're, you know, batting it against the side, trying to get the disc off, or, you know, you have to go with your toolbox and look for the spanner. That's a plus point for the cat grinder. Okay, sticking with the handle, another plus point for this grinder is you have three mounting points as opposed to two like you have on the DeWalt. The DeWalt grinder, you've got a mounting point there and a mounting point there. But on the cat grinder, you also have a mounting point on the top. You know, to sum up with the handle, you've got the storage in the handle. It's an anti-vibration handle. It's a softer feel. And you have the three, you know, different different points you can use. The, you can fix the handle. Okay, so the next thing to look at is the, the guard. Obviously, you need a guard. Uh, on the cat, it's a quick release guard. So you simply flick this lever. Move the guard to any position you want and then just flick the lever back. And that's it, solid. Right, the absolute best thing about this grinder to me, you know, when I first got it, I noticed it straight away, is the trigger. 
Um, you either love them or hate them. This is a paddle switch, and this, you know, I, I much prefer that in a grinder. Um, so basically, it's a safety switch as well, so you need to move this little bit forward and then depress the trigger. My pet hate, absolute pet hate, on the DeWalt grinder is it's just a thick switch on the side. You know, it, I mean, it works well enough, but it's really stiff. And what I notice with this is when I'm out in cold weather, extreme cold weather, I mean, obviously your fingers are quite numb. And trying to get the switch on and off, you know, and you put it on, it slips off. You know, you try to get it on, it's really stiff. You know, it's just a right, you know, a right pain, you know. I hate it. But this is just so much better. A million percent better in my in my opinion, you know, that's just great. The only thing with that, I don't know how robust it would be, you know, if this grinder's getting thrown about. You know, it is just plastic, so I don't know. There may be a risk of that getting damaged, but honestly, that's such a good feature for me. I do actually have the the Flex Volt grinder as well. The DeWalt grinder, it's got the same uh, trigger as that, and it's just night and day, you know, compared to this thing here. And it's just not fair to compare this to the 54 volt. This is obviously just an 18 volt tool. Okay, and I guess the last feature really is the you know, the locking button, you know, you, you depress that, it locks off the disc, you know, so you can get the, the nut off the disc. The button feels really nice and, you know, good quality. It's got a really positive lock, you know, when you, you go to lock a disc. Yeah, so that's a, you know, another good feature. So to me, first impressions, without even using it, um, I've, I've pointed out some of the good points. Um, to be honest, it looks pretty good. Uh, I really need to go and test it now. I'll just film some, yeah. you know, typical scenarios and I'll, I'll, I'll put some text at the bottom of each one, you know, just to, just to show you what I'm doing. I could show you, you know, loads and loads of, you know, different different ways to use a grinder. I'm sure everybody that's watching this knows how to use a grinder. So, I mean, the three basic functions of a grinder are cutting, um, polishing or flapping, which is a flapping disc, or actually grinding. So, right guys, that's my overview of the grinder. Uh, first impressions, I think it's really good. I'm not just saying that because I did get this from Cat. Um, you know, I have compared it to the the 18 volt DeWalt that I've I've used for years. Uh, this is definitely a lot better for hopefully the reasons I pointed out. Uh, the trigger, you know, being one of the main reasons. Yeah, so I would have no issue in recommending this grinder. Um, I think it's superior to the DeWalt. Um, and if this tool's anything to to go by, you know, it's it's probably worth trying the the Caterpillar range of tools. Uh, so hopefully this is giving you an insight into the the Cat tools if you weren't aware. Um, I will leave links in the description to the, the grinder, the battery and the charger. And Cat have also given us a 20% voucher for their jigsaw. So if anybody wants to have a look at their jigsaw, I'll leave links in the description again and I'll leave the, the code. So if you use that code, you'll get 20% off. So guys, well, hopefully the video is of some use to you guys. Um, 
If you like this type of content, please subscribe as always. You know, please give the video a thumbs up and we'll hopefully see you in the next one, guys. Thank you again. Cheers.